Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys like the uh, the Dino Knights. And now we know uh, how much this motor make. We know I purposely waited till this thing or well, everything is all finalized before I make any uh, <laughs> exposure on how much it cost me to make that intake manifold. <laughs> uh, the final numbers is not coming out on horse's mouth. You will just be reading it. Okay, it makes me feel a lot better. You guys reading it than me saying in it. <laughs> okay, uh, the intake manifold RBC. I got this from eBay, and this is the well at the time. This is the cheapest one that I have found. The prices are the taxes are included. Uh, you know eBay they you know you have to pick free shipping and all that so taxes is already there all right here we go the intake manifold the intake manifold cost me 291.80 cents the throttle body which is I found the cheapest one this is a no-name brand it that cost me $52.37. I never had any problem with it. Nothing sticking. Thermal gasket. I went a different route on thermal gasket. I spent a little more because of uh, some of my previous experience. They're not totally built the same. So uh, I went a different route. I went and got a speed factory thermal gasket which cost me $45.16 the fuel rail I already know that I'll be chopping this fuel rail to begin with because I don't know what ahead of the road so I went the cheapest route so I went and got one from eBay which cost me $49.56 next is the uh, Thermostat housing, remember the uh, the mount for the sensor that I ended up cutting off and relocated it. I ended up distorting the threads on it. That's why I got a, uh, a tap so I can clean it up and bring it back to its normal state, which cost me $12.89. Now for the uh, welding equipment, Argon which is cost me a bottle it's thirty five dollars and twenty eight cents the full amount you're not gonna hear it from me <laughs> you're just gonna see it uh it makes me feel better <laughs> just kidding but you will see it you might see that it's too uh a little bit on the expensive side but like i have said before it's really worth it uh, so if you already have some of the uh, uh, components like the throttle body then you know it's up to you if you want to get the spacer and all that so it's either will cost you more or cost you less like the fuel rail and all that but uh, everyone can see if you look it up on eBay the for K2H setup on H2B with all the spacer and all that it it's gonna cost you more than six hundred something dollars, or at least seven hundred something dollars, and for what to gain <laughs> an additional ten wheel horsepower, right? But no, I mean, it's a good numbers if you ask me. Plus, it looks good, man. It really looks good. Yeah, I'm not just saying that. Uh, you know, when you look at the motors, like where's the intake manifold, right? So, so there you go. That's how much it cost me to build that. And I will say it again. Yeah, it's really worth the effort for me. Yeah. Someone have mentioned this, that, uh, that he did this before and a shout out for him. Maybe I'm the second one, but who knows? But all in all, it's all about the experiment. Yeah. The, uh, the journey and the destination and yeah
Well, I'm going to have some fun with this. I guarantee it. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys back. Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.